Hey guys, it's Dee again, and I am coming to you with kind of a Sephora, slightly Sephora haul. It's not really a haul, it's just a couple items I picked up at Sephora the other day. And um, I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I'm kind of in love with, and something I'm not sure I like at all. Um, this is going to be like a little weird, but I love uh, clips, hair clips, so you can pin your hair up, because my husband has a tendency to want to drive with the windows down and then you look like a rat's nest because your hair is all over your head. So I have these little clips that look like this and they clip like that, which I like because they're flat because if you, what you do is you just take your hair, pull it back, you can twist it up and I'll turn around a little bit and you can run the clip through it, clip it and there you go. And then you don't have to worry about your hair blowing all over the place. It's clipped up. And of course you can make it neater than that. I'm like doing it without seeing what I'm doing. But um, Sephora had a couple of those clips on sale for like $7. And there's a little rhinestone one. And then a, I don't know what color that is. I guess it's brown or black. I'm not sure. But um, I picked it up. They were on sale in their sale section. And I think these are really, um, really, really nice you know, if you're pinning up your hair, I don't know if you have, if you have a whole lot of hair, then you need a bigger one. Um, I don't have a whole lot of hair, so I could clip all of my hair up, up in, in one of these. And then if you're, you know, if you're doing something special, like say if you want to just pin up the top, you can just clip the top and, and go without having to worry about, um, you know, having a whole thing. The other thing I like about this is going to sound really stupid, but you know how you normally have a claw clip? or whatever they call them, I can't think of the name of it anyway, but um, in your purse you have it clipped on the side of your handbag or whatever. But because these are flat, like this, I think it's pretty cool that you can clip it on like the zipper section of your bag on the internal part where you zip your bag or a little pocket part and it's flat, it's flush, so that you don't have to worry about knocking it up against it in your handbag. So it does dual purpose. It's in there, you don't lose it, it's clipped on as something, or in your hair. Yeah, I know, retarded. I love them, but <laughs> that's my thing. <laughs> Alright, the next thing I got from um, Sephora was, um, well actually I got two things. The one thing I did pick up was a primer by Laurie Mercier for the mineral, mineral primer. And I wanted to try that and see how that works out. The reason why I wanted to try it is, of course, I love, love, love Bare Essentials. But you get a one ounce for $21. And if you look at Laurie Mercier's, you get um, a 1.7 ounce, and I forgot to bring it down with me, for $30. So for $10 more, you're getting um, 7 ounces more. So comparatively, 2 ounces for 40 almost two ounces for 30. So I figured I'd give it a try and see how well it works. Um, I'm still working on that, see how it works out for me, I'll let you know. Uh, the next thing I picked up was by Kat Van D, her palette called Love and Fury. And this is a, this is, it's kind of cool how you get it open. Um, it's a palette that is, okay, do I need? Um, has some really dark colors in it if you're like really going out partying or whatever. And when I opened it, it had um, paper wrapped around it with a little Kat Van D thing on it, but I don't have that with me, so bear, bear with me. And I'm going to knock these out. Here are the colors, and I think, I thought they were really pretty when I saw them in the store, but then I didn't realize that three of them are gel colors, which would be this one and these two are gel colors and the other disappointment for me was that this gel color right here is completely dried out I can't even I can't get nothing on it get it I got a little bit on it but it's like sticky which was a turn off because that's dried out um, the other thing is the colors if you look at that I just rubbed that if you rub it too hard, it just gets real flaky. Look at this. That's the brush. I didn't even rub it that hard. And it's just, it's real flaky and, I don't know, not happy with that. Um, I have to admit, I do like the, the 
burgundy color. I'll show you the color, the burgundy colors, the dark colors on my hand. Because you know, I love dark colors. Um, so I'm going to put this one here. And the, the gel. It's, and it's really hard to keep this thing clean. Um, just in just the few times that I've tried. Now, those are the colors of the, disregard that, that's from previously. From the, on the darker side, um, let's see. This is the black gel, that's the bloodletting red gel, that's the burgundy, and then that's the black. Yeah. So, there you go. And then on the other side, um, oh, these are so... Um, flaky that you would have to blow on them like yeah, I don't know and you're not supposed to blow on anything you know that um, really you're not that's just gross um, yeah all right and those are the colors on the other side and if you look at it that's the gel one that's all dried up and this how, that's how flaky that is. It, it's flaking everywhere. So I was thinking that it was going to be a really good palette to um, to use because I like the colors and you know throwing out partying um, and you know for Halloween or something like that. I thought the colors would be really really pretty, but it's flaky. It's it, it's horrible. I, really not happy. Now, mind you, this palette was, was $32. I got it for $15. <clears throat> now I know why. <laughs> and when I say not a fan of this palette, or I, I'm hoping the Kat Van D's, all of her palettes are not like flaky and, and dried up like this thing was, but this was not a happy purchase. So, this is definitely going back. Not happy with the colors or anything. I thought that I was going to really like it. What I'm going to do before I take it back, I'm going to look in my Bare Essential stash and see if I have any colors that are similar to this and use those hopefully to do a palette, um, do a small palette with for myself and go with that. But I, I was not happy with this purchase. Not at all. It, it's horrible. So, I will be returning this to Sephora. Um, I'm actually putting it back in the box and I'll show you the back of the box with all the different color, all the names of the colors on there so you can see. But there are, it, it is oh, the worst. Worst palette I've ever picked up. Even Wet n Wild is better than this. <laughs> For $2.99 or five bucks does a better job than this does. This is really horrible. So, um, that would be everything that I have for you guys today. If you have any questions or comments, or maybe you can tell me that I'm wrong about this palette, you know, put, put a comment down below. Um, I want to give a shout out to Tammy, and I think her name is Upper Beads, up, Upper Beads, or up, I'm not sure, but her, her name is Tammy. I love, love, love watching her videos. She is funny and straightforward and truthful and um, beautiful and, and totally informative on a lot of different things. Hair, makeup, uh, skin care, how to take care of yourself, how to um, take care of your body. I think she is awesome. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to her and um, okay guys, I want to thank you. If you get a chance, check her out. She's great. I'll talk to you later. Bye.